I'm here in Kearney, New Jersey with my good buddy, Alan Gorman, who's an internationally recognized painter. And we're gonna talk a little bit about his unique skill for seeing detail and the technology that he so easily represents. He makes it look easy, but let me tell you, this is pretty amazing stuff. Watch what we're gonna do. What exactly is this particular style that you're mastering here? I, I don't know that I'm a master, but... Um, You've got to be a master. You've had so many shows in the last year, and now you have another one-person show, you know? And these are just amazing. Now, what is it you do? You go out there and you take a photograph? Uh, I have an idea what I have in mind, and then I go out looking for it. So, uh, I'm a street photographer, but I'm not just shooting random pictures. I'm going with a plan. So I want to shoot, in this particular case, with these paintings, what I'm doing is I'm painting. We're looking for, I'm going to say, portals to luxury. So I have that in my mind, and now that's currently what I'm working on. So that'll be the basis for what I shoot. You look and for a lot of the detritus of the technology, the old technology, like in your Under the L series? Yeah. So so, uh, so what happened in that series, I, I was walking, and it was, it was happenstance. And all of these wonderful things are like, uh, what excites me about this is I'm walking around, constantly, my eye is constantly attuned to what's around, and every once in a while I have a moment and say, oh, look at that, isn't that cool? And then it's my intention to kind of share that feeling with you that I felt when I saw it. That's well, your, your new series, Portals to Luxury, yeah. you, it, are able to capture the reflectiveness of a lot of the glass that's being used now in the buildings of Manhattan. And this new one here that you're working on. This is it, the Hudson Yards. It, it's yeah. just fantastic. Um, this, this is the photograph you took. So this is the photograph. From the inside of Neiman Marcus. At the inside of the shopping mall. Yeah, and, and now you're going to put that onto canvas how do you do that with such exacting measurements? Um, then I put it in a projector. Is that like a video projector? Uh, typical LED. Slide projector? Like an LED projector okay. like you would use to home movies or you project movies or slideshow or PowerPoint. And then you put a pencil layout together mm -hmm. on the canvas? And then I, stretch, I, I trace it off from the, from the drawing from the uh, projection. And then uh, I do, I'm not set on any one way of doing it. Sometimes I'll do a grayscale underpainting. Well, it must it takes be- a long time. It must be really well received because of all the awards and all of the shows that you've had over the last couple of years. Painter, uh, painters like my work. Other artists seem to like my work. So uh, yeah, I get asked to participate in a lot of exhibitions and uh, you know, I put a lot of time <laughs> in it. You know, I'm, I'm getting some notoriety. I'm happy about that. Um, you put a lot of time into it. One of your past pictures, which I, one of my favorites, is Rocket. Is Rocket. Yeah, so, I, I just so love Ro that. Ro you know, they, I mean, this is going to be even more labor intensive than Rocket. So what you're looking at here, this is just a first, uh, first pass. It's just an underpainting. So once I paint it, then I got to paint it again. Sometimes I'll paint it again. So, so you know, sometimes it goes through three, four iterations. So Rocket was nine and a half feet by six feet it was so, huge uh, it was awesome it was, as they say well it was uh i wanted to do impress you know so um and, and impress the viewer with what i felt when i saw this thing it was really interesting um i've seen your evolution from the reflectiveness of shiny objects through the technology and, and the under the l and now it's portals of Opulence. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what do you see as your future? Uh, um, 
I don't, uh, it evolves, and it always does, and, and I, I don't know where this is going to take me. Um, I'll keep painting, that's the way, and maybe I'll do some other stuff, I don't know. What we're doing is we're on a journey to find our own truth, and find our own, peeling away the onion to kind of reveal who we are and share that self without censorship with people. So a great performance, a great singer, a great musician, a great actor. That's, that's the journey is that. And it's all about the journey. Where I go next, I don't know. I'm, it's, uh, I, I will continue to pursue me and see how, how honest I can be. You know, a genuine me, if I can. You just became a grandfather. Are you going to be painting the little girl? We'll see. <laughs> Probably at some point. <laughs>